Let's just be still and quiet for a moment. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us together once again as your family here in this place and online. We thank you that as we gather, you are with us. So Lord, we ask you by your spirit to guide and inspire us now in all that we are about to do, that we may bring glory to your name. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Say it again. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We stand to sing a new commandment. Please sit or kneel to pray. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. Jesus Christ, risen Master and triumphant Lord, we come to you in sorrow for our sins and confess to you our weakness and unbelief. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. In your mercy, forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. May Almighty God have mercy on you forgive you your sins and bring you to everlasting life. 
Amen. We stand to say the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Risen Christ, by the lakeside you renewed your call to your disciples. Help your church to obey your command and draw the nations to the fire of your love, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. We sit for our first reading. Thank you, Stephen. The first reading is from the New Testament, Acts 17 to 22 to 31. All preachers in Athens. Paul then stood up in the meeting of the Areopagus and said, People of Athens, I see that in every way you are very religious. For as I walked around and looked carefully at your objects of worship, I even found an altar with this inscription, to an unknown God. So you are ignorant of the very thing you worship, and this is what I am going to proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth, and does not live in temples built by human hands. And he is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives everyone life and breath and everything else. From one man he made all the nations, that they should inhabit the whole earth, and he marked out their anointed appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. As some of your own poets have said, we are his offspring. Therefore, since we are God's offspring, we should not think that the divine being is like gold or silver or stone, an image made by human design and skill. In the past, God overlooked such ignorance, but now he commands all people everywhere to repent. For he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Stephen. So let's stand again to sing When I Needed a Neighbor. Shelter, where 
Were you there? Were you there? When I needed a shelter, were you there? And the creed and the color and the name won't matter, were you there? When I needed a healer, were you there? Please remain standing for our gospel reading. Thanks, Tina. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to Christ our Saviour. If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of truth, the world cannot accept him, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me because I live and you also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am the Father and you are in me and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by the Father and I too will love them and show myself to them. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to Christ, Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Here we are, having gone through Easter and Jesus' death and resurrection. And now we are coming close to his ascension into heaven. Our gospel reading takes us back slightly when Jesus spoke to his disciples at the Last Supper, preparing them for what was to come with the promise of the Holy Spirit. His promise that they would be looked after and that he would ensure they would always be someone with them. His father would send an advocate or counsellor to them. He established the connection between love for him and obedience to his commands. <coughs> The spirit of truth is described as being invisible and unknown to the world, but intimately connected to the disciples. This indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit will provide guidance, comfort and support for the believers. He tells them this in verses 18 to 20 of his continued presence. Let us remind ourselves. I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me because I live and you also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my father and you are in me and I am in you. Jesus reassures his disciples that he will not abandon them, promising to return and be present with them in a new way. Although the world would no longer see him, the disciples will continue to experience Jesus through the presence of the Holy Spirit. The phrase, because I live, you also will live, emphasizes Jesus' resurrection and the promise of eternal life for the believers. This passage also highlights the intimate connection between Jesus, the Father, and his disciples, 
pointing to a profound spiritual unity. In the concluding verse of the gospel, Jesus reminds us, reminds us of love, obedience and revelation. He reiterates the link between love for him and obedience to his commands. He emphasizes that those who truly love him will be loved by the Father and will experience a deeper revelation of Jesus himself. This verse underscores the importance of a living active faith that demonstrates love for Jesus through obedience and devotion. Jesus clearly established a true connection between love for him and the command. So how can we live our lives through this reading? We can practice forgiveness, compassion and service and seek to embody the teachings of Jesus in everyday life. Now we know that that is, can be difficult and no one's asking you to be perfect because if we can try and show compassion to someone who may not be in the right frame of mind to talk, may be suffering or recovering from illness or the loss of a loved one, struggling with their mental health or just generally having a bad day, then we're following the teachings of Jesus and being kind as well. My mother always said to me, if you cannot say a kind word, best not to say it. I know I've not always lived up to that. And if you think about it yourselves, have you? <laughs> what else can we do? <clears throat> we can read our Bibles more. We can pray more. Even when busy, give yourself five minutes just to have your own conversation in prayer. Be open to where the Spirit is leading you. Look at me. Who would have thought I'd be standing here preaching to you today? Yes, I ran away initially when approached to do different things, but then I listened to Jesus' plans for me. It was not easy enough. I needed a few nudges. Why? Maybe I was scared of where it would lead. I didn't believe I was good enough to be called. It took a lot of persuading at my previous church to assist with communion. I did have two members on different occasions not take the cup. One was a lady who thought it should only be the vicar and another a man who did not want women involved in any aspect of communion. I didn't take it personally, that was their choice, but the vicar told them off. Draw nearer to Jesus. I find meditation is really good for relaxing and clearing your mind and listening to what's going on around you. Connecting with nature, hearing the bird song relaxes me and I can then concentrate on the quiet and what is being asked of me. Or sometimes it is me asking for guidance. I did not realize this at first, but this is what I used to do on a weekday off, weekend afternoon to get some peace at home as a child. Being the third child of six, it was never really quiet. But laying down on my bed with the bedroom door shut and relaxing was my way of escaping, having a rest from having to make up the five-a-side football team with my brothers, or being on their team for cricket, or doing the chores that only my sister and I had to do. I didn't have my spirituality then. I had a belief, but I hadn't come to Jesus. Pursuing our spiritual unity, listening not only to other Christians, but all faiths, so that we may be united in Christ. Let us grow in revelation as you deepen your love for Jesus and obedience to his commands. Expect to experience a greater revelation of his presence and character. Allow this deeper understanding to shape your faith and guide your spiritual journey. We can be part of the transformation in our lives by the insights given and lead us to strengthen and develop the relationship with Jesus as in the Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Tina. Just stop for a moment and just reflect on what we've heard and then we'll move on. So this is the beginning of Christian Aid Week and Christian Aid Week has 
changed dramatically over the last few years. Um, most of you will be very familiar with the house to house collection, delivering envelopes through people's doors and then going back and listening to all the excuses that people could come up with as to why they hadn't put anything in those envelopes. Um, my favorite response very often to certain people was to say, you realize it's a double sin to lie to the vicar. Uh -huh. I never got hit, thankfully. <laughs> Since the COVID pandemic, the door-to-door -door, um, collection has kind of dropped off the cliff. Um, there are still some churches and some people who are persisting, but in the main, that simply isn't happening now. And so there are new ways of seeking to raise both awareness and also obviously to raise funds. Um, we're gonna watch, um, on the next slide, we're gonna watch um, a Christian Aid advert, if you like, um, for this Christian Aid week. And then we may go on to hear a little bit about the story of Essa and her pigeon peas. Thanks, Nick. Welcome to Malawi, the warm heart of Africa. Stay tuned for your Christian Aid week broadcast. Rising food and energy prices are impacting millions across the world. Economists point to COVID the war in Ukraine, and poor harvests as the cause. And now, a short ad break. Bread prices up by 50% in just three months? Our tasty locally produced rolls could be the solution. Esther is here to serve you delicious rolls straight from her cooperative's oven. No need to travel. Our team will come to you. Esther's rolls are baked using flour made from locally grown pigeon peas. So there's no expensive fuel related costs to hike up the price. And no need for costly imported wheat. Thanks to pigeon peas, awesome drought resistant properties, everyone can enjoy them when other crops fail. But hurry, Esther's rolls are selling like hot cakes. They are loved by adults and children alike. Esther's little grandson, Nespo, can't get enough. Your family will love them too. Next on Christian Aid Week TV, it's Esther's story. Ene abambo Adam Garira, taka shata. Zina ndirengira po masiku, angabo nditu, kuti ndirimbe. Munga mkuziwa kuti wina akashoga, nti mama kala osweka. Choncho siri matatsiku asa na mwele mtu ozabe mpela banyamba vana. Olo haku mpengo kumini. Ama taku mwela. Uzaba angama vempelo banyamba vana nino. Malumo kutini ndiye ndi nipite kucharichi. Nikisomo yoka ya mbuwe. Emwe ana mwezeleza mpavu uso ntumimu. Kwa mazinali zintuzo mpesa kisoni. Mwuzo ndanda ula. Ndola ndanda ulisa. Kwa mwini. Kiri mbiki tsumba sikia zinzanga manembas Aga choka kwa kubwela tizikeza pana wazika mbankani zoseka Choringa chokuti ineyo kukumudu wakanga kushepe Ndipondi ndiyana wili atika na waka waka Ndizizu kumizi wili tanya mara toka roka Minama tisia chaka chaka Mawo mari zana ndisiraone na kuti ana usamare yao Usawatahi Chifukwa nangasinda juwe ina mproje giti, osa kalisa ama mungumatisia. Marwenti na intini atabwela na nduwa fama za sosesho ni mkuti zindigiriza kutikutu mkulole za mbidi. Kuna mibako paleti vu, oso kanisa na nduwa famozi kuti aguridwe. Kashwi tukupanga business ya begari. Kiyo mwana nduwa fama za sosesho ni kuzela kukisha nyedi, anatigurila uvuni. Nume tu kupiga ma banzi, osa kani zandu fa wana ndo ni wana fa kwa kunda. Eo ni ndi zizugu zizuiri. Ni spo ni emanuelo. Ndi ufunani wa lele, numoe wa chikristo. 
kulasiana na mini wawa abide ku school modi ke na ka nisboyo alibana zari kale ine ana mini wadu akamabwela kwa ine kudzakeza muti mamanga muti mafabu ndi mazichita kuti ndine wakulu ine nzukulu wanga ndi mamunyadira kwambiri ankafuna zipangizo za ukalipentala Pokwa ni lisa mchiru, chiri inga niso chake shumene, ana lisa ndefefe kumana wadi ni kumana takala kalipenta, ni takala kalipenta. Ndeni maso nkani sila chida, chimozi, 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 chimozi. Ndeni yoma li zila, yumeni na gula mwente, yani, mwente na hintini. Ndeni guli sama nandolo, ama ngodi gula mavenda, mwuba nandolo. Mwodi mapindwe nini, sama one kai. Pumwe vanopo, mwayu kukala po, chifuwa, Neneri, Alibu, Nandro Farmers Association, Uzila Kukesha Nedi. Drama Zina Zina Gila Nchiru Zina Zina Zago Munda Kukuli La Fekeleza. Kukila Kumene Kukun Kumene Kukangati, Kukufika Bey, Kumatu Wona Nga Tukuti, Difant Hojita Mwono Wona. Gani Agendi Nandi. Give today and help more families have a better future. Visit caweek.org. Welcome to Malawi, the warm heart of Africa. Stay tuned for your Christian Aid Week broadcast. Rising food and energy prices. So pigeon peas, who'd heard of pigeon peas before? I hadn't at all. <laughs> um, apparently, um, nobody really thought very much about pigeon peas. They're, it's a crop that um, grows quite readily, but wasn't considered to have a great deal of value until they discovered that you can actually make flour out of it and, and bake, and, and you saw in the video. Thanks, Nick. Okay. We're all aware of rising costs and it's affecting everybody across the world. Thanks, Nick. And then there are the cyclones and the droughts and sometimes floods and other extreme weather conditions caused by the climate crisis that we are living through. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Together, we can help dreams come true. Okay, next slide, please. So, how can you give? You can give through the envelope that you received as you came in this morning, and you can give just in cash either way into the bucket which is there as you leave um, and we'll know that that is your donation to Christian Aid and you can give online either by going to the website using the the address there at the bottom of that slide or by using the QR code if you've got a smartphone and if you're watching this um, on the recording that'll be on YouTube you can always pause the screen at this point 
Um, if you're looking to find the, the QR code reader on your smartphone and then just scan that and it'll take you directly to our church's e-envelope, a digital envelope created by Christian Aid. If you give in that way, um, you will also be asked whether you are willing to gift aid that gift and that will add value if you are able to do that. So various ways that you can do it. What you won't get if you live locally um, is somebody knocking on your door asking you to give back the envelope because we're not doing that here. But these are the ways you can do it. Please do. Please give whatever you can. The need is greater than it has ever been. And Christian Aid is, as an organization, acutely aware of the fact that everybody is struggling. We all have less disposable income than we might have once enjoyed. But the reality is that even so, we have more than do many others. And we can still give to help them. Thanks, Nick. Would you please stand? Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us, and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God, and makes Christ known in the world. We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you please sit or kneel to pray? Thanks, Tina. Let us just close our eyes for a moment and clear our minds for prayer. Loving God, we thank you for the gift of your son, our saviour, who walks with us on our life's journey. We pray for all those who travel with us in our family, among our friends and within this community. We pray for a deepening awareness of our need and dependence on one another and of your image in the hearts of everyone we meet. We give thanks that he gave his life for us so that we could live and that you molded us in your image. Your name be hallowed, thy kingdom come. Let us pray for peace in Ukraine the focus that has been on the Eurovision Song Contest this weekend, which we hosted on their behalf. But we must remember, Lord, that the war is still causing devastation to communities. Lives are being lost, and children especially not being able to leave the childhood they should be able to. We ask for peace to come soon, Lord, and those who have been displaced will be able to return home and rebuild their beloved country. Your name be hallowed, your kingdom come. We give thanks for the coronation last weekend. Let us pray for King Charles and Queen Camilla as they set out to serve our island and the Commonwealth. We pray for many of our communities that came together, celebrating with street parties, people getting to know one another and creating new friendships and for those who volunteered and took part in the community volunteering on Monday. Your name be hallowed, your, your kingdom. kingdom come. <clears throat> As this week is Christian Aid Week and we've just seen the videos, we pray for all in need and especially Esther and her community in Malawi. Your name be hallowed, your, your kingdom, kingdom come. We think of all those persecuted for religious belief, 
Give us respect for every person and all creation. Protect those who worship in secret or fear in harm when they attend services across the world. Your name be hallowed, your kingdom come. <coughs> Excuse me. Loving God, send out your healing to all those who suffer from ill health and long-term conditions. We pray for all those known to us in our church family and community. Shine a healing light upon them, Lord. Your name be hallowed. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. We pray for all who have mourned during the last week and for those whose anniversaries are near, making life more challenging for those who are left behind. Let us remember our loved ones and friends with great joy and grant them peace, Lord. Your name be hallowed. Your kingdom come. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Would you please stand? The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Bless you. We remain standing to sing, Let There Be Love Shared Among Us. On him. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love, you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. 
In Christ, you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. So we listen now to the Lord's Prayer as it is said by members of Christian aid around the world. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. 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 So let's join our prayer with them as we pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. I have a voice, you have a voice, we have a voice, and when we sing together, a line is drawn, and hope we born. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. I have a voice, you have a voice, we have a 
voice when we sing together. A line is drawn and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. We heard the cries of distant neighbors to dispossess the refugee. God's command to feed the hungry and set them free, and set them free. We heard the word, the new commandment, and we reclaimed the prophet's call to love the world.
eternal God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the way, the truth, and the life. Grant us to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth, and to share his risen life, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. We say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. So there you have our notices for the week ahead. A number of things that are coming up. Um, on Tuesday evening, anybody who wishes to is invited to attend an open meeting of the Deanery Synod with our new Archdeacon, the Venerable Addie Kerr, and that's at Christchurch Chislehurst at 7.30. So it's for Deanery Synod reps, but also anyone else who wishes to attend is welcome to do so. Uh, Thursday this week is Ascension Day. We have our usual coffee and chat in the morning, and we have a service here in the evening at 7.30. Do join us if you are able, either here in church or online on Thursday evening. The Scout Group are holding their annual general meeting on Friday evening, uh, 6.30 in the South Room. If you are interested in knowing more about what the Scouts get up to, you again will be very welcome to attend that meeting and hear the presentations that are made there. And next Sunday morning, we're here at 10 for our morning worship, which will include a baptism. In a moment, I'll talk about what we're doing after that. But in the afternoon, there is also next week, evening worship at Crown Meadow Court. Thanks, Nick. And so that's what we're doing after the service next Sunday morning. It is our annual parochial church meeting. Um, there are nomination papers at the back. There are also the annual reports there, um, those we've managed to get printed, um, and they were also emailed and sent out on WhatsApp to everyone, so hopefully you got them. Do read them before you come to the meeting, because then it may be that you have some questions that you want to ask. Um, it's good to be prepared. And do please, go on to the next slide, please, Nick. Do please make every effort to attend if you are able. We know that some people are away. Some of those who are away at the moment will be back in time, and hopefully they'll be able to be here. Um, but if you can, please come to that meeting. It is a vitally important part of our life together as a church. And do think and pray about whom should be serving us in the various roles and responsibilities that are there. It could be you. Thanks, Nick. Then coming up is the Summer Fate. That is the leaflet which Sarah has produced. It also has a QR code on it. And if you are on Facebook and you scan that code, it will take you straight to the Facebook event and you can let us know that you're coming, which is even better. Um, but those leaflets will be available once the copy printer is fixed um, and we can actually print them out properly. But um, in the meantime, um, again, I'll send that out as a, as a digital image on uh, WhatsApp and by email. So you'll have that to show people. That's what we're doing. Thanks. And uh, because Thursday is Ascension Day, it is also the start of Thy Kingdom Come. Just as our wonderful postal service in the state that it is at the moment didn't get everything that we needed for Christian Aid Week to us in time, so there's still some bits missing and everything I did get only arrived yesterday. Um, also, there are other things that we should have received and didn't, including all the materials for Thy Kingdom Come, which I hope to have ready for this morning. And I may have in time for Thursday, we'll see. Also arrived this week, was supposed to be here in time for last Sunday, are some gospels with the picture of our King on them. And they're in a box on the table there. So you can take one of those 
as you leave. They were supposed to be there for handing out last week and unfortunately they weren't. What has arrived in time is the next issue of the Diocese um, Together magazine. Um, that also is available as you need. So pick up your copy of that as you go. Next bit. Let's stand to sing. You heard it play during communion and now we sing the song of Kingdom Come, written specifically for Christian Age. I have a voice, you have a voice, we have a voice, when we sing together, a line is drawn, and hope reborn, this is the song, the song of kingdom come, we heard the cries of distant neighbours, the dispossessed, the refugee. God's command to feed the hungry and set them free, and set them free. We heard the word, the new commandment, and we reclaimed the prophet's call to love the world without condition. God's love for all, God's love for all. Voice. You have a voice, we have a voice, when we sing together, the line is drawn, and hope reborn, this is the song, the song of kingdom come, a reckless love, that knows no borders, that speaks the truth, to those in power, that shines a light. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and with all whom you love, now and always. Amen. Let us go in the light and peace of Christ. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Amen. Do join us in the South Room if you're able for refreshments. Bless you.